Uh, welcome back to Be Media Wise with me, Maraza Forefront Army. Salute to you. This is the show that makes sure you have the tools you need to succeed. Now, it's been a big month, and we have to thank everybody who has been sending us their clips and shouting out on our Facebook page. This is the last week for entries into our Freedom of Expression competition. So, get on with it. Make those clips, and you can stand a chance to present the show with me. You know we love connecting, so jump onto our Facebook page, check me out on Twitter, or follow South School on Mix It. But for now, let's check out how to be a mobile movie maker with JoJo. Hey, guys. One guess good thing go be. Yep, detention. Usa gentu got to Puma, so I thought I'd give my homies a quick update. So, Gwenzagalan, um, Nkulume no Tabi, and we've sorted things out. I haven't had a chance to chat to MX yet. Gotta, Utabi really did have the wrong impression of him, so I'm glad I figured that out. Yes, imagine I didn't confront him. Then I wouldn't have had anyone to chat to my personal issues about. And it's kind of like, if that event didn't happen, I wouldn't know his character. Ha, yeah, well, guys, I'm getting really good at this. Yeah, Tembu Gutsu, you guys are doing your homework. Pella, we need to get cracking on our Vasilela stories. Ish, I can hear the beast coming back later. There's a fire in the line. What? Jojo, take your stuff and go home. I know. Uh, are there people in there? Let's go. Please, I'm going to tell you that you just did what I think you did. Well, did you want to sit there all day? Dude, this is not going to for lento. Well, sometimes the trouble's okay, if you think it's worth it. So now, Joe, tell me, why are you always getting yourself into trouble, huh? Angas. I mean, you act all innocent and smart, but here you are, banking class, sitting in detention. We are paying, ma. I wasn't smoking. I swear I wasn't. I know you weren't smoking, but you did bang. Hmm. And like, really, are you one of those people with multiple personalities or something? No, I'm not. What's in jail? Josie seems to misunderstand me. Mm -mm. I just think you haven't given people the chance to get to know you. Well, I need to have given you the chance. Who do you think I am? I think you're quite an interesting character, Jojo. What do you think of me? Trouble. You see, you also don't know me. Everyone thinks I'm trouble, but I'm not. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Actions speak louder than words. That's true. Actions also reveal a lot about someone's character. But I'll check you later. Me. Thanks. That was weird. I mean, how do we go from leave me alone Durban girl to busting me out of detention and to that conversation that nice conversation. People really are misjudged by all the people around them. Njeng Otabi, she's completely misjudged MX. I mean, I don't see him as a baddie. They've got the wrong impression of me. Mklaumbe, we need to be the same in who we are. Uma ngabe sifunuguti. Abantuba understand that my nature is waiting in bed. It's like the characters in our story. We have to give a lot of detail so that the viewer can have the same impression of the characters as we do. As in, if I'm gonna get anywhere in this Fusilelo competition, I need all the help I can get. So, when come and go to your check if Miss Haley Burr was a second, don't ask, you will see what I mean. Man, I thought I had some skills, but MXO has got some serious game. I didn't know how this is gonna work out for Jojo. I mean, there is gotta be some consequences. I just don't know how she's going to get herself out of this one. Now, before we check back with Jojo, we are gonna have a short break, so don't go away and don't change that channel, because when we get back, it's more of Mobile Movie Maker with our girl Jojo. Stand 
StudyMate is a series of study guides and DVDs created specially to help you ace your final exam. The StudyMate study guides and DVDs are available for all your key subjects like English, physical sciences, accounting, mathematics, and many more. Get your StudyMate revision material now from selected CNA stores. Or you can call us on 011-482-4053. Or you can visit our website on www.studymate.co.za for more information. A Boston Media House bursary for three years. Do I have to say it again? A Boston Media House bursary for three years. That's what you can win if you send us a movie made on your cell phone just like Ujojo. Check out Facebook for more info and how you too can be a mobile movie maker. Now, let's check out what Jojo has got for us next. Come in. Someone and then Upis. Yes, Jojo. Come inside. Yes, what can I what can I do for you? Well, ma'am, it's a book by this story, and I'm thinking about characters. Maybe you can give me some pointers? Mm, that's very interesting indeed. So, what do you want to know? Well, ma'am, I'm as loot. Aha, I see. So, Jojo, the first thing to do is to identify your character's flaws. Am I flaws, ma'am? Yes, the weakness in your characters. What is wrong with them? What is it that they don't have? And what is it within them that they need to overcome? These flaws are generally shown to us through big events that the character has to deal with and in order to deal with the event. They need to overcome their flaws so that they may move on. A flaw could be anything that is inside the character. Even a fear is a flaw. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to understand. Okay, Jojo, let me make you an example. Mm, say we have a new principal at school, ne? Mm. She's very quiet and shy. She starts to have a problem with the students because they don't treat her with respect. So one day a student goes too far and the principal realizes that if she doesn't stand up to the student, she'll be fired. She then needs to overcome her flaws or weaknesses by becoming more assertive in taking control of the student. Then by doing so, she has managed to overcome the problem or a situation. Okay, ma'am. Yes, this is. You also need to think about what makes your reader like your character. I need to I get common to often follow up a story about someone they don't like. Mm. We usually like characters because we can relate to them or because they possess qualities that we look up to. Okay, ma'am, so it's like how Minang Tandu Loli from Isi Dingo because she's ambitious and determined. Exactly, Chocho. You like what she represents and you can identify with those qualities. You need to know that without a character, there are no events. The reason why we have an event in a story is to force a character to grow. Okay, Nyabon. Yes, ma'am. Unsizile, Nyabon. It's a pleasure. You may come and join our drama play, ne? Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Bye. San Monan, guys. Yes, ma'am. Tanja. Aveng Chabulib. And I'm even putting up new posters. So, yeah, I'm sure it's like a good Ever since I got to Jersey, this has been like the best day ever. And like everything she said to me got me thinking about myself and all the characters in my story. So, character flaws. So, I'm a character flaws. That's easy. One of my biggest flaws is she's got pride. I mean, but she doesn't want me to see her, so she prefers to be alone in Durban. Now, obviously, if she just let me help her, she'd be so much better off. So, if she let go of her pride, everything would be fine. Oh, it's really, what makes a character likable? Like me. Well, obviously, we need to make sure that people can relate to our characters. Because if they see themselves in that character, or but bonnies in the abangat standard, gul leo character, bazo, kina, balandelele leo character. So basically, they follow the story because they like that character. And, ogokina, characters without events. Are useless. I mean, the only reason see now my event to hold my character way to kumele afunde akule yin akoge kumele gube na my event. So guys, it's pretty simple. But I'm going to carry on the whole night figuring out my story, and you can do the same with your main character, Kesha. Now events force characters to grow. Events help us discover what the flaws of the character are. It helps us identify them. So, by the way, you react to an event. This tells us about your character. Now, I think I got it. 
thanks Jojo and Miss Halle Berry. I guess we'll have to wait until next week for another exciting look at Be A Mobile Movie Maker with Jojo. So I hope you are keeping up. If you are a little lost, you can always check out our Facebook site where we have all the Jojo episodes up and ready for you. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show, that part where I get to see what's happening out there in Mzansi. Let's go see what some of the cell phone sisters and journalists are getting up to this week. girls not being allowed to take bathroom breaks during a lesson? Okay. Well, firstly, as girls, it's very, like, girls and guys are different in so many levels, okay? A girl has that time of the month, okay? And obviously, if you don't feel very comfortable to talk about it to the male teachers, okay? And when you ask to go to the bathroom, you can't just blurt it out to the male teacher and be like, oh, sir, can I please go to the bathroom because I need to check my pad? I mean, if it's not something you feel comfortable to say, I mean, you're interviewing me as a girl and I feel comfortable around you and I can tell you these things. But, I mean, if it was in a different case where I was talking to a male teacher, I wouldn't be able to say this to you. So, like, I think they should let us go whenever we feel like we need to go because you, you just never know, okay? That time of the month can come any time. Um, Jamal, how do you feel about learners not being allowed to take bathroom breaks during lessons? Um, I feel on on I feel very sad about that. Because as a guy, you know, when when you want to be it comes at once. So you have to three hours sometimes when when you want to go to the bathroom. Okay, thank you. Um, this is my class teacher, Mr. Joseph. So sir, do you allow learners to go out during your period for a toilet break or don't you? Uh, I do. You do allow Lenis to go out? I do allow, depending on the circumstances. Oh, okay, yeah, sir. So basically, I don't allow more than two times the person on Lenis. Because one thing we realize is that a learner can go as many times as he or she wants to go out. Uh, only God knows what they can in the family. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, there was everybody's opinion. So basically, in my own opinion, I think that they should be allowed to go out. But Jenna should also respect the number of times that they are allowed to go out or to go out for a bathroom break. If you went out once or twice, you cannot go out every five minutes for a bathroom break. I'm Lady Chisnet from Hi, thank you. Email, post, Facebook, WhatsApp, or BBM us those clips. Check out our Facebook page for more. 
Now we have one week left in our competition and it's looking like it's going to be a good one. I've got some news for you. The producers have just told me that not only are we giving away a day in the studio with me and the team, but also 500 rands cash to the winning entry for some spending money here in Josie Baba. <laughs> now, if you share, I will pull some strings, yeah? <laughs> so now, guys, let's head over to see what's happening this week on Cell School. Remember that time you had a math teacher that spoke way too fast and he couldn't make sense of what he was saying? And then he got hit in the face with a soccer ball during break and the swelling made him sound like a tailor tubby? But then you got hit in the face with a soccer ball and had a concussion for a week? And when you got back to class, you had no idea what was going on and it felt like your head was going to Explode? No problem. Cell School offers free daily video lessons on Mixit for grade 10 to 12 in maths, maths literacy, physical sciences, life sciences, and accounting. Cell School, we've got your back. Hey guys, as always, I'm here to update you about the great content that Cell School is offering you this week. Grade 10s are looking at trigonometry and specifically evaluating expressions. Now I know trig can be tricky, but stick with us and you'll be sorted come exam time. Grade 11s tackle analytical geometry, focusing on inclination and the equation of a line. Grade 12s, we haven't forgotten about you guys. Our teacher will be taking you through the ins and outs of double angles. Remember, maths isn't the only subject South School offers. We also have life sciences, English first additional language, physical sciences, maths literacy and accounting, all for free. So head on over to Mixit, Trade Post, Mixit Reach, Education, Cell School. And you'll always be one step ahead. Cell School, we've got your back. Well, thank you very much, Cell School. Check out the weekly lessons and connect with your favorite teachers on Mixit. Yeah, baby, that's Mixit. Let's check out what's happening out there in Mzansi with Be A Cell Phone CJ. Greetings, I go by the name of Emmanuel Chavarala and today I'll be doing an interview about hip hop music. And I'll, I'll be interviewing Chato Ikane. Chato, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you like hip hop music? Yeah, I like hip hop music because of the last time I've seen it. Okay, so like what that book, what message does it send to people? It sends to people that if you be yourself, don't care who thinks what. Like it's some sort of rap, you see, like Machiavelli lifestyle. And then I'll be interviewing Kamukhara Matsumi. Uh, Mr. Kamakura Matsumi, do you like hip hop music? No, I don't like hip hop music. Why, sir? Because hip hop music got like bad sounds, bad influence. Oh. So I do my own really thing. Oh, I understand. And now, according to me, this thing about hip hop, hip hop music is not a good thing. Like, uh, if you can see, most artists they are developed hip hop. They influence young children. They mislead our youth. Thank you. Thank you so much for that clip, man. Now, next week, we are doing the announcement of our winners of the Freedom of Expression Challenge. So go ahead, everybody. Get down to making those videos. You have one week left. Now, all you have to do is send us your clip. It can be on anything. Just remember to keep them coming. You can enter as many times as you like. Now, for more details, check out the Facebook page. Now it's time to go over to Primo, who is going to give us his tip of the week in keeping motivated. Primo, it's over to you, Baba. Hello, my friend. In the last seven sessions of this series, I have defined academic excellence and provided motivation for academic excellence. Today, I'm here to tell you that academic excellence is for you. In fact, excellence in all the spheres of life is for you. You have to get it. It's sweet, it's nice. We've talked about all the benefits that come with it. And we've also shared that some people have moved from average to excellence. So what you have to take home today is that all these stories and all these motivations have been shared just to let you know that academic excellence is for you. You too can be excellent. I'll quickly share with you three reasons why you should be excellent. As a matter of fact, not only in your studies, but in anything you do. Number one, the God who made you wants you to be excellent. Number two reason you should be excellent in your studies and in anything you do, your spirit. The spirit within you, your inner man, the real person within you, seeks for excellence, wants excellence. That is why I said earlier in this series that when a student fails an exam, he's not happy, he's brokenhearted. In the same vein, when a soccer player goes into the pitch or a soccer team goes into the pitch to engage in a soccer competition, if they lose the match, they are not happy. That's because we have a spirit within us that tells us you can, be, you can do better than this. 
That's because of the spirit within us that tells us you, aim, you should aim for excellence and achieve excellence. Our spirit is always happy. Our spirit is always satisfied when we do well. So my friend, if you are not doing well, be honest with yourself. You haven't been happy about your performance. You now need to up your standards. You now need to push boundaries and achieve academic excellence. Number three reason you should be excellent. The world in which we live in recognizes and promotes excellence. This world requires excellence, demands excellence, and applauds excellence. If you are not excellent, the world is not going to recognize you. A soccer player will be recognized if they are excellent. That is why if we say every year we have the best soccer player, if Ronaldo is the best soccer player this year, if he cannot maintain that standard next year, we are going to get another person who is going to be recognized as the world's best player because the world is seeking for excellence. It is amazing that everyone in the world might not be excellent, but everyone in the world wants excellence. If you look around you, the television in front of you is a product of excellence. The refrigerator in your house is a product of excellence. The cars in which we drive, they are products of excellence. So my friend, the world wants excellence and you and I have got to be excellent. Now I want you to say after me, say I was made by a God of excellence, in excellence, for excellence. So it's all about excellence, my friend. I was made by a God of excellence, in excellence, for excellence. So my friend, I know that your desire is to achieve academic excellence, and that is what this series is about. We have shared with you stories and motivations for academic excellence. We have motivated you to go for academic excellence. Henceforth, in the next sessions of this series, myself and other members of this great Beyond Tomorrow team will be sharing with you principles for achieving academic excellence. Motivation is great, but principles will show you how to do so. Morepe Injani will be taking the stage. Katleho Mohono will be taking the stage. Mohali Wamorena will be taking the stage as well. All of us will be sharing principles from my book, Beyond Tomorrow, Fundamental Principles for Achieving Academic Excellence. This book is present in bookshops nationwide. But what really matters is that you get the, the principles and you go for excellence because you were born for excellence. Don't forget to meet us on the social networks. Mix it. Facebook and Twitter. Now it has come to that time of the day where we have to say goodbye, but be sure to join us next week because with B Media Wise, we help you get informed, give your opinion, and get smart. Now check out this message from our celebrity friend, from me and the team, Forefront Army, salute Sogbona Ngelangilza. When you're in school and you know what you need to do after school, you get to work hard. And working hard means from the time all good classing, listen very carefully. If you don't understand, ask a question. You're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for everybody else. If you don't study, if you don't work hard, you will not succeed.